Welcome to the 2011 Consumer Electronics Show. It's Tuesday, January 4th. I'm Natalie Morris coming to you from Las Vegas this week and it's time to get loaded. CES has not officially kicked off yet. As you can see, we are still setting up, but I do think it's safe to say that this will be the year of tablets and more tablets. We already know that Verizon is planning to show off at least four different 4G tablets running Google's Android operating system. We also know that Toshiba is releasing a tablet too. It will be called the Toshiba tablet and also be running Android. Lenovo will also have a few Android tablets of their own and Vizio, the TV maker, has also said that they will have an Android tablet which will also work with their VIA phone and Vizio TVs. We are also anticipating the BlackBerry Playbook and possibly an HP Palm Pad. So like I said, tablets and more tablets. Stay tuned for specifics. In addition to the Toshiba tablet, Toshiba is also planning a 3D laptop that does not require 3D glasses. This laptop is for single viewers, meaning you can't gather around the laptop and have your friends enjoy the 3D. It also has facial recognition from the webcam, but it Again, only for one person at a time. This is still in development stages, but it will be fun to see here at the show. Stay tuned for a first look. Another thing we can't wait to see here at CES is the 3D Nintendo DS. Leaked images of the device have hit the web on Monday. Not sure if these are legit, but we won't have to wait long to see. We will, of course, have it here soon on the CNET stage. Netflix announced something called Netflix One-Click Buttons. The company worked with TV manufacturers to get their streaming services on home televisions and Blu-ray players without a separate box. The TV remotes will have a Netflix branded button that will take you straight to your Netflix streaming account on a connected TV. We'll start to see these out in the spring. And you can now take your own blood pressure using your iPhone. The iHealth blood pressure dock attaches to an iPhone, iPad or iPod touch and can measure your heart rate and blood pressure. The kit costs $100 and comes with a blood pressure cuff and battery powered dock that also charges the iOS device. You will also need the app which is free in the App Store. And the latest version of Rock Band which launches today features an 8 pack of Johnny Cash songs. Songs include classics like Folsom Prison Blues and of course Walk the Line. That's your news for today but of course CNET TV will have a lot more all this week so stay tuned to CNETTV.com for live live coverage of the show and catch up later for first looks and discussions about all the news coming out of this year's show. I'm Natalie Morris for CNET.com and you've just been loaded.